Well, hello again. It's me um, talking about <clears throat> our president and Washington in general, I guess, but mostly about our horrible president. I'm going to start every video by reminding, uh, I'm going to use the title, Everything Trump Touches Dies. And uh, that's the title. I'm stealing the title from Rick Wilson. <laughs> Rick Wilson was a Republican. I, I think he still is a Republican, but he cannot stand Donald Trump. Uh, he's horrified at Donald Trump. I think there are a lot of Republicans that are horrified by Donald Trump, by the way. Um, certainly all, almost all the Democrats are horrified. I think all the Democrats are horrified at Donald Trump. Yeah, that's, that's safe to say. But Rick Wilson, so he wrote a book, Everything Trump Touches Dies. And there I have the graphic of the book. And the subtitles is almost as good. It says, a Republican strategist gets real about the worst president ever. <laughs> the worst president ever. So um, that's a damn good title. So I'm going to use that title for my series. So it's not just the leftists. The leftists, George Soros, communist socialists that are against him. It's a Republican named Rick Wilson, who's just written a book about it. By the way, I'm going to do a whole video on Republicans who cannot stand Donald Trump and want to see him stopped and or impeached. I think there are a number of Republicans who would go for impeachment because Trump is the worst president ever. Yes, the worst president ever. No, no At least, I, you'd have to go back to the 1800s, I think, to find... You have Andrew Johnson, who was... In, they began impeachment... Maybe Andrew Johnson may have been worse than Donald. Maybe. <laughs> but I think Donald Trump. Yes, and thank you, Michigan. Thank you, Michigan. Thank you, Battle Creek. Thank you. Well, Battle Creek didn't go for Trump. But Calhoun, thank you, Calhoun County, for voting for the worst president ever. Thank you. I would give a thumbs up. I don't have a camera here. I'd give a thumbs up for Calhoun County going for, uh, and, and, then, and then Michigan by a few thousand votes. By a few thousand votes, he won Michigan? Yeah. So, oh, this first graphic. Let me get to the first graphic. Let, let me just, I'm going to also remind everyone, because everything that Trump touches dies. All of his businesses, almost every one of his businesses go bankrupt. So let me get, let me get the list, and I'll be back in a second. It's a long list, by the way, of all the businesses. This is the Taj Mahal. That went, that died. Uh, he sunk like a billion dollars into it, and a billion, maybe a billion and a half, and it went bankrupt. How many times did it go bankrupt? Four times, three times, five times, six times. Who knows? A lot. Let's put it that way. And then finally, it uh, just totally, they totally that went after the fourth bankruptcy. They said, ah, we give up. Trump can't run the casino. He doesn't know anything about the casino. He doesn't know how to run a casino. He's too busy grabbing women and going to beauty pageants. <laughs> oh, pardon me. It's a sarcastic laugh. I have a graphic here of the Taj Mahal liquidation sale. So uh, I'll be back with the long list of Trump failures, uh, Trump business failures. Uh, okay, so we're, I'm establishing the fact that... Uh, Trump is a hor horrible businessman, and he inherited most of his money that he could play around with from his father, who was quite wealthy, and he inherited, inherited a bunch of money. Uh, was it 400 million? I don't know, 200 million, 400 million? If you inherit that amount of money, you should be able to make money, or at least be somewhat wealthy. So his, his wealth is mostly based on the fact his father was a very good businessman and very wealthy. And by the way, his father cheated too. His father cheated on taxes, um, probably cheated people out of money, certainly cheated on taxes. <clears throat> maybe, and maybe cheated on his tenants a little bit. You know, the Trumps are amoral. It's, uh, yes, the Christians who voted for Trump, Trump is amoral, immoral, doesn't care about yeah, well, it doesn't care about anything that has to do with Christianity, like telling the truth, being a good person. Nope, nope. So, I have pictures here of, oh, this is the liquidation. Uh, well, oh man, I'm going on and on here. 
the liquidation of the one of the casinos. Let's go over the casinos. If you have any doubt that uh, Trump is a horrible businessman, um, Trump had four Atlantic City properties slash casinos. Four. And he bought them with borrowed money. Some of it was borrowed money. Some of it was his dad's money. His dad sunk some money into it. Okay. All four casinos in Atlantic City, Trump casinos in Atlantic City, went bankrupt numerous times. Four times? I don't know. I, I know they're at a minimum of four times. Maybe some people say six because of how you repeat them and how they... So, most normal people after two bankruptcies, I think the banks would say, you're done. But Trump, because of the name and because the father is super wealthy or was super wealthy, uh, Trump gets all kinds of second chances and third chances and fourth chances. So, <clears throat> we have uh, four... So let me repeat that. All four casinos that Trump managed, quote unquote, went bankrupt. They are empty, collapsing buildings at this point. And I just showed you a bunch of pictures. Of, here's, here's, here's one of the casinos. This is the Trump Plaza. It's falling apart. Uh, Trump got rid of it. Um, I don't know when, when it closed. Um, the question now is, do you demolish the whole building? This is the problem that the Atlantic City has with these Trump casinos. So Trump sucks. I hate to say it, sucks as a businessman. Big time sucks. Big leap, as we would say. So um, everything that Trump touches dies. So all the casinos in Atlantic City died. And um, what is else to mention? Oh, here are the interior pictures. Um, they've, sold, they've sold off whatever they could at great discount. But the building itself is starting to mold and rot. These, this is true. I think all the, all the Atlantic City casinos. So, and then, oh, I was going to mention all the business failures. Okay, wait a second. Stop. Okay, we were. We, I was talking about how horrible Trump is as a businessman, and all the bankruptcies, four bankruptcies, um, and all the casinos that he built in Atlantic City. They all went bad. That was his big, big play. His Trump's big play, other than Trump Tower. Uh, in New York City, Trump's big play, his big move was to, to stupidly, stupidly to put up, invest in, and construct four casinos in Atlantic City. I think they were probably never going to make money. Um, but, and he put all of his eggs in that basket, which was stupid. But what can you say? Stupid. <laughs> um, so let me just go over the um, the other businesses, because tr- it's, his tr- failures are not limited to uh, Atlantic City, City casinos, unfortunately. <laughs> He's so awful. Um, okay, so I have a partial list of Trump business failures. And yeah, listen, I think I'm going to... You hate... You people that... Uh, I, I'll, you, uh, I'll give an email if you tell me how bad I'm off I am. And Trump is a great businessman. <gasps> oh, he made so much money, money, money. Yeah, okay, I'll do that at the end. Uh, but here, here goes the list of business failures. Let's see, this is only partial, I'll bet. I'll bet I'm missing some of them. I'm doing this from memory. Okay, Trump University. Trump University is the shining example of failure. Trump University, uh, it was sued. It was closed down by the New York authorities in Florida, and Texas was also threatening to close it down because it was a scam. It was a scam to get deep. So Trump University bankruptcy or clo- failed and then so- sued sued by the students and they won by the way they won uh, got some of their money back at least okay so Trump uh, University Trump stakes <laughs> Trump stakes how, that lasted what two years that failed uh, Trump Airlines Trump didn't know what he's doing it, the thing is Trump never knows what he's doing when he starts a business and then he doesn't learn how to run the business correctly so he tried to do an airline <laughs> Without knowing anything about airlines, practically without knowing anything about airlines. So Trump Trump Airlines, it was called Trump Shuttle. It wasn't called Trump Airlines. It was called Trump Shuttle. It failed. I think it lasted two years. Woo. Uh, Trump Mortgage. I don't know. What was Trump thinking? Uh, Trump Mortgage. 
that that was done right I think before the collapse then there was Trump ice of course he doesn't know anything about bottling the beverages but what so he Trump starts Trump ice which was water right and he had somebody else do the water he did he's too lazy to do it himself so somebody else bottled it he slapped his name on it Okay, Trump football. He wanted a football team. Football. Football. I like football. I like men hitting. Ooh, it's rough. It's tough. And uh, Trump football, they started their own league because Trump was going to take on the NFL. Um, And what happens? It doesn't go anywhere. Trump threatens to sue the NFL. Who else did he threaten to sue? Roger Goodell? I don't know. Threatens to sue. Of course, the whole thing ends up, I think it lasts three years, maybe? Four years, the American Football League, whatever football league it was. Um, failure, another fa- failure, Trump football. I can't remember the name of the team. I think it was Buffalo or something. I don't know, I don't even know. I don't, uh, oh, Trump Soho, another building in New York. That was built in 2006, 2005. Uh, with foreign money, by the way, the American banks will not, and I can, I'm going to repeat this in every video, the American banks will not touch Trump with a 30-foot pole. They won't get near him. He's a money-sucking, you know, <laughs> I don't know, disintegration, disappearing machine. It just, that's what he does. He takes money and makes it just disappear. Poof. And, um, oh, I'm running out of things. So we're, we're, we're Trump Soho building uh, goes bankrupt and under new management. Okay, so I was listing all the Trump failures, and oh, my machine is gone down. Just a second, I can click into it. Um, okay, we ended with Trump Soho condo in New York. That goes that goes bankrupt, he couldn't fill it. Uh, by the way, that was financed with foreign money, Russian money, um, Kazakhstan money. I, you know, I don't know where Kazakhstan is. One of the former Soviet republics. republics. I could do a whole video on the former Soviet republics uh, the, that are now uh, in money involved in money laundering. Of course, they're, they're kleptocratic, but what, what can we say? Um, um, so Trump Soho goes bankrupt. That was in 2005 or 2006. Um, let's see. We're okay. Still listing Trump vodka. Trump does not drink. Doesn't drink alcohol. So Trump knows absolutely zero about vodka. Zero. But he, but they slap his name on Trump vodka, and Trump vodka of course goes out of business. Then I have here Trump Network. Trump Network was, I think, um, his idea of going into uh, vitamins and supplements, dietary supplements. Of course, it fails because Donald doesn't know anything about dietary supplements. It's a scam anyway because the dietary these dietary supplements are fake. They don't work. Um, you know, like most a lot of dietary supplements. Quote, that are supposed to make you stronger, this and you know, stronger, sharper, whatever, improve your skin. I don't know, whatever they claim. Most of them, what, ninety percent of them don't work at all. Yeah, they're mostly scams. They're snake oil. Um, so let me, yeah. So I, I, I'll, I'll briefly go over it again for you, clueless, for the clueless. Well, the uh, failures. Four, four bankrupt casinos. The four bankrupt casinos go bankrupt four times. Okay, Trump University failed. Trump Stakes failed. Trump Shuttle Airline failed. Trump. Oh, I forgot Trump Magazine. Trump Magazine fails. <laughs> Sorry. Trump Mortgage. Trump Ice Water fails. Trump Football Team fails. Trump Soho fails. Uh, Trump got it, fails. Trump network fails. Listen, I probably missed one, two, three Trump failures because he's had so many failures. So let's, I'm going to repeat it again because I'm worried the American people have bad attention span maybe. I don't know. Um, Donald Trump has failed and gone bankrupt so many times. American banks will not lend him anything. They don't want to see his face. 
They don't want to be near. They don't want to be anywhere near him. Okay, the only place he can get money for any kind of financing to any Trump project is foreign banks, mostly Russia, and and money laundering from a bunch of foreign kleptocrat, uh, uh, kleptocratic oligarchs, and um, that's how he finances his golf courses and his and his new condos. And he and by the way. He doesn't put his own money into it. He doesn't have that much money, I don't think. And he doesn't put his own money into it. He gets a management fee right off the top. So he takes no risk at all. Um, so he's a, he's a horrible businessman. Um, I think we've ended that section. I've established that Trump is a, wor- a horrible businessman, goes bankrupt all the time, and is a credit risk beyond belief. He, uh, the bear- Any sane person, banker, whatever, is not going to loan Trump anything. He's a horrible manager. Okay, the second part of this video is going to be about the um, events of this past week, which were, uh, of course, uh, more chaos, more illegal activity. Um, The Mueller report (coughs) was released um <laughs> yeah it was it was redact- redacted delayed um actually it um i don't think uh let me see do, can do, do ever, does the average person have access to the entire report i think it's been redacted it, well it's in redacted form okay and now the Congress wants the certain members of Congress. I think eight members of Congress may have access to the entire. And I don't know who did the redacting. I think um, the Attorney General um, Barr, B A R R, did the and his goonies <laughs> did the re- redact- redacting of the original Mueller report. Um, so that's the controversy. And uh, and by the way. There are now calls. Impeachment is on the table, I think. Impeachment is on the table. Uh, you have obstruction of justice all over the Mueller report. Okay? Obstruction of justice. You have a lot of circumstantial evidence of collusion. You don't have, you don't have direct evidence of collusion, but there's circumstantial evidence all over the place of collusion. Or, or tacit collusion, and of course the Russians were were operating for years, two year, two years, three years, uh, infiltrating, uh, well, whatever. I don't want to get into a long. I'm gonna do a little bit on the Russia, uh, Trump connection. Um, but okay, let me stop here. Okay, um, I'm just gonna read here just a little section. This is the Mueller report. Uh, and this is, I don't know what page this is, this is when the special prosecutor or special counsel is appointed um, uh, to see, well, because Trump, in, in his part of his obstruction, what I would call his, his obstruction of justice <laughs> maneuvers, he fires um, Comey. That's right, he fires Comey because he didn't like the Russia thing. That that is obstruction right there. I mean, he didn't like he didn't like the investigation into Russia. So, if you fire Comey because you don't like the investigation, that's called obstruction of justice. <laughs> um, so let me read from this. Um, this is one page. It says evidence uh, the appointment of special counsel and the president Trump's the, pre- the president's reaction on May seventeenth. 2017 acting attorney of course he's acting <laughs> acting attorney general because there's not a permanent one there acting attorney general Rosenstein appointed Robert S. Mueller III as special counsel and authorized him to conduct the Russia investigation and matters that arose from that from the investigation the president learned of the special counsel's appointment uh, from Sessions who who was with pres- uh, the president Hunt who's a Hunt is a lawyer in the White House, I believe, and McGahn, who's another uh, white top White House lawyer, uh, conducting interviews uh, for a new FBI. Well, they were conducting FBI, uh, interviews for a new FBI director because what? Trump had fired the old one. Um, 
Oh. Okay, going on. Um, Sessions stepped out of the Oval Office to make a call to uh, to make a call from to take a call from Rosenstein, uh, who told him about the special counsel appointment. And Sessions then returned to inform the president of the news. So Rosenstein is appointing the Mueller. Yes. Um, according to the notes written by Hunt, when Sessions told the president that a special counsel had been appointed, the president slumped back in the chair, his chair and said, Oh my God, this is terrible. This is the end of my presidency. I'm, I'm effed. Um, uh, the president became angry and lambasted uh, the Attorney General for his decision to recuse from the investigation and say, how can you let, how could you let this happen, Jeff? This, I'm, this is a poor Im my imitation of Donald. Um, uh, the president said the position the president said the position of Attorney General was his most important Im appointment and that Sessions had let him down. Uh, you let me down. Contrasting him, contrasting him to Eric Holder and Robert Kennedy, who uh, Sessions recalled uh, that the Sessions recalled that the president said to him, "You were supposed to protect me," <laughs> or words to that effect. The president return, uh, returned to the consequences of the appointment and said, uh, "If everyone tells me." If you, every, everyone tells me if you get one of these independent council things, it ruins your presidency. <laughs> he got a little Sorry. It takes years and years, and I won't be able to do anything. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> that's, that's Donald Trump quote. Oh, yeah. So, um... That's the end of that. Uh, this is going all over the internet, by the way, this this page. Um, so I guess the other thing to add to this is uh, Trump doesn't read. He's too lazy. I think he has real problems reading. I think he has a reading, maybe he has an actual uh, learning disorder, uh, like a reading disorder, like dyslexia or something, because he doesn't read. So this is, I mean, this is interesting. He says, he says, everyone tells me. This is how he gets information. It's through his ears. It's oral. He can't read. I, I, he doesn't read. He doesn't read. I don't think he don't think he doesn't read the presidential daily brief. He doesn't read newspapers closely. He doesn't. Of course, he doesn't read books. He watches television. And he listens to people. And listens to people. And he listens to Fox News. So everyone tells him. Uh, when you get one of these independent council thingies, he doesn't, and he doesn't know how to use a computer, and he doesn't know how to Google. I mean, you could easily look up this information on a computer if you wanted to, or look it up in a book. Um, oh, there's there's a close up of it. Um, but so Trump does not know how to use a computer. He does not know how to look up things. He does not read books. He doesn't know history, etc., etc., etc. So this is the, I'm quoting from the Mueller report, uh, and by the way, I may, I may do some more <laughs> readings, I don't know, it seems like it's a good thing, I don't know, this is a pretty dramatic section here, where he learns, he learns that when he fires Cuomo, he screwed up, actually Trump screwed up, you shouldn't have fired Cuomo, and of course that's obstruction of justice, okay, I'm on to, a, uh, that's obstruction of justice, uh, and then he learns that uh, when Rosenstein appoints Mueller, there's a whole another can of worms that he has to deal with. <laughs> Trump, Trump just doesn't think ahead. I don't know. Well, okay. Okay, I, yeah, I'm doing this video in April when the Mueller report has been released in a redact, redacted form, and I admit I have not read, I haven't read even just small portions of it, uh, and that's another homework I could do, and there's another video I could do. I probably could do five videos on it, but I don't know. 
Um, so this is the New York Times, a uh, shot of the of the New York Times uh, of from April, and it, I'll read the title. It just says Mueller report shows depth of connections between campaign and the Russians. Of the more than 100 contacts, the special counsel said that there was there was insufficient evidence that there had been criminal conspiracy. So <clears throat> there was plenty of very suspicious evidence. If there were 100 contacts or between the Trump campaign and Russian, either uh, Russian agents or Russian um, uh, businessmen or uh, R Russian officials. If that had happened with Obama or Hillary, you, you Republicans would have been screaming up and down, oh, you, your Russians are running, you think you're colluding with the Russians, you're, uh, you know. So, but because it's Trump, we, we don't, <laughs> we allow criminal activity, we allow, uh, uh, what do you call it, unpatriotic uh, subversive <laughs> activity uh, because it's Donald, right? Um, so 100 contacts, and then it shows, it has a graphic, has a very good graphic. I think it took up an entire page. Yeah, or at least half a page of the of the contacts between the Russians and when they occurred, and how, you know, each contact, etc. So um, let's see here. We have Hope, we have Donald Trump at the top. This is hard for me to read. I'm reading from a, a, a screenshot. So, uh, hope hits they have at the very top. I'm not quite sure, sure why. Oh. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we have Hope Hicks. Uh, we have Donald Trump's contacts, and they're out between. Okay, so they've got the red dots are contacts between Trump and some Russian. So there are eight or nine. And uh, let's see, the first, oh, invited to Moscow to attend party former business associate Agalarov and possibly uh, President Putin. Now this was what year? Okay, this was 2015. So, so Trump said, I don't, I don't have any contact. I never, I have nothing to do with Russian. No. You have lots of contacts with Russians. You have lots of Russian tenants. Uh, you you want to build a tower in Moscow. So, yeah, you know, listen, the lying, I don't listen to Trump. I assume he lies at everything. So there are how many contacts? Side letter of intent to develop Trump Tower in Moscow. That is November 2015, I believe. Okay. Received a letter from Mr. Agalarov, uh, impressing, expressing great interest in his campaign. Oh, well, Agalarov is a rich Russian with contacts with Putin. <laughs> then the other contact, let's see, um, campaign meeting. Oh, George Papadopoulos told Mr. Trump he had uh, connections. Um, Okay, um, connections which he could arrange a meeting. Oh, he could arrange a meeting with Mr. Putin. Well, Papadopoulos was, I believe, an advisor. I think he was an advisor to the campaign. Yeah, okay. So, and then there's these other, I, okay, these are the major contacts. Then you go to Hope Hicks. Hope Hicks was just the press secretary uh, and sort of valet to Trump. Um, Cohen. All kinds of contacts with Russians. I don't know if I want to go through and read this entire thing. Um, you know, that could be boring. I'll put music with it so you won't get too bored. Uh, it looks like there are 20 contacts. Cohen, who is Trump's lawyer, um, was working on the Trump Tower of Moscow project. Um, lots of contacts. Okay, whatever. Ivanka has two contacts, apparently. Donald, uh, oh, well, and I've cut this off a little bit, so there's more in 2016 that I don't have. Uh, we get down to, 
Uh, we go by Donald Trump Jr. And then George Papadopoulos has several contacts. Oh, Papadopoulos, campaign advisor, had frequent contacts with Russian operatives who said they wanted to arrange meetings between Trump and Putin. Oh, they wanted to arrange meetings between Trump and Putin? And this is Papadopoulos? Are they going to Papadopoulos for this? Oh, man. That looks like there might be collusion. <laughs> Okay, I, all right, you, you, you can work on that one. Actually, I, I could do a whole video on that, on that one slide alone. This is another thing from, this is from the New York Times, from that same page, the contacts, okay? On the left, you have Trump Associates. So you have uh, Rick Gates, Carter Page, Michael Flynn, Jeff Sessions, I don't know, Ari Berkowitz, I'm not sure, I don't know who that is. J.D. Gordon, uh, Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, Donald Trump, blah, 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 blah. And actually, just looking at this um, briefly, oh boy. Uh, oh, and they're color-coded. Okay. So, for example, Rick Gates, who uh, was number two in the campaign, uh, had contact with... Konstantin Kalimnik. Ooh, th there's a lot to, to know about that. There was apparently a big meeting with Konstantin Kalimnik. Um, yes, who, who else was in the meeting? There were at least three. It was kind of secretive, very strange. Um, oh, you, you see that Manafort, yes, that was the meeting, I believe. Manafort was in that meeting with Konstantin Kalimnik and Rick Gates. Listen, you got to double check. you got to Google on this. And then you can yell at me an email through an email. I'll put, I think I'll put my email at the very end. Um, so let's see. Um, and uh, according to this, well, let's just take, for example, Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner has contacted Sergei Kislyak, um, Renat, Renat Ak, Akhmet. Akhmetshin? Oh. Oh, okay, yes, we were at Kushner meeting with Renat Akhmetshin. I'm, I'm sorry about the pronunciation. Uh, that's Russian. Uh, let's see, who else is your. Uh, so on the, on the left are Trump people. Let's do it good. I can do it again. The left are the Trump campaign and Trump people meeting on the right are the see Russians, WikiLeaks, and intermediaries. So Renat, okay, and let's see who else did Jared Kushner meet? Oh, of course Kushner met with Natalie Vel 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 Veliskaya. I can't pronounce that either, the long Russian name. She's the Russian lawyer that we're going to, they were supposed to talk about adoption. No, no, it wasn't about adoptions. <laughs> It was about campaign dirt on Hillary Clinton, but hey. Uh, Jared, who else did he meet? I think Jared is in a lot of legal trouble. Let me just, this is an aside. Um, Jared also meets with e, e, Irakli Kaval, 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 Kavaladraza. <laughs> Let's see. Too bad I can't pronounce these. Oh, and then Rob Goldstein. Rob Goldstein was the intermediary that arranged the, the meeting. And then we have Paul Manafort. By the way, Paul Manafort's in jail. Um, okay, so we don't have to go over Paul Manafort. We know that we know that Paul Manafort is an evil, horrible person who just, he, he would do anything for money. But that's the Trump people, and that's the new Republican Party. That's the new Republican Party. Horrible, evil people that would do anything for money. <laughs> <laughs> from the party of Lincoln <laughs> from the party of Lincoln to the party of horrible evil people will do anything for money <laughs> pardon my laughter um, oh oh that was Donald Trump I'm sorry Don Trump Jr uh, let's see Who, who's the context they have okay Don Oh, Donald Trump. I, listen. Oh, okay, Donald Trump. Let's see. He's met with Aras Agalarov, Emin Agalarov, um, Sergei... I 
I can't pronounce that. I can barely see it. And I, I'm going to have to work on the Russian names. And then Mira Duma. So that's I met with, contacted with. That's Donald Trump. I'll go off. That was with the beauty pageant in Russia. Okay, Donald Trump Jr., lots. He's red and red, red lines. Oh, Donald Trump Jr. met with Maria Butina. Maria Butina is a Russian agent. She's in jail. <laughs> She's in jail. She's in jail right now. She's awaiting sentencing, I believe. I think she's awaiting sentencing, or she's been sentenced. Uh, Donald Jr. also meets with Ranat. I can't pronounce it. Akmetishin. I'll work on pronunciation later. Velitskaya. He meets with Velitskaya. Uh, Emin Agalarov. Ooh, Alexander Torshin. Alexander Torshin. Oh, Alexander Torshin is is the handler of Maria Butina, or Butina, the Russian agent who is in jail. <laughs> Listen, you can't make this up. You cannot. You can't make a novel like this. But hey, um, okay. Donald Trump meeting with Konstantin. I can't pronounce that. Konstantin. So, I forget it. I'm not even gonna try. I can't even. I, okay. And then let's see. Oh, WikiLeaks. Julian Assange. I don't know about the the, the contact with Julian Assange. And then there are some other ones. Roger Stone. He, John, Roger Stone's been indicted. Uh, oh, Ivanka's in trouble. Ivanka has met with Mira Duma. I don't know who Mira Duma is. Sergey, somebody. And Lair, Lana Etchova. I don't know who. I don't know who that is. Um, then we have Cohen meeting with people. Victor. Oh, Felix Sater. Yeah, Russian. Russian American. Dmitry somebody. Dmitry Peskov. Dmitry Kidov. I don't know. George. Another unpronounceable, long unpronounceable Russian name. Okay, well, th these are just some of the contacts. So what does it say? Who they had contacts in mind? So there is good reason to believe uh, there's lots of cooperation and uh, communication activity between the Russians. Oh, of course the Russians are supporting Trump from the beginning. They hated Hillary. Okay, so um, let me stop here. Okay, I'm finishing up this section of the video. This, uh, once again, um, this is the entire, this is the page on New York Times, I think it was two days ago, on all the, uh, the Mueller report uh, evidence or the evidence of uh, context between Trump, the Trump campaign and uh, Russians and they have this uh, graphic of all the contacts and who contacted who and uh, I think I've su sufficiently covered that um, handy graphic and I'll go on to I think I'll finish up with the the out out outroar <laughs> outrage uh, outroar that's not a word outrage outcry uh, and we're, by the way, we're in, in impeachment territory now. Because not only do we have contacts with Russians, um, obstruction of justice, um, but we have uh, criminal activity, uh, a horrible administration, horribly incompetent administration. Um, you know, any number. So we have crimes, um, and we have perhaps treason, and um, yeah, plenty to impeach Trump with at this point. And I think it's just going to get worse, my, my view. Um, okay. Okay, we, um, uh, I had just been going over the, the Mueller report, which has come out. Uh, this is April uh, tw 2019, and the Mueller report has come out in a redacted form. And um, it's been a horrible, horrible 
week and a half for Trump, in my in my humble ex, uh, view <laughs> estimation, uh, he fired. The, to me, it was absolutely appalling that he fired the head of the Department of Homeland Security, one of the most, I don't know, it, it's one of the most important organ, uh, I mean, a very important uh, part of the federal government does, it does border, uh, border patrol, uh, ICE, it does um, TSA, the airport security, Customs, <coughs> customs, um, um, oh, FEMA. It does uh, emergency management. Uh, FEMA, and well, he just fired Trump. Just fired the woman for no good reason. No, but I, I can't figure out the reason. The people say she wasn't cruel enough <laughs> for Trump, um, and. Um, I don't know. So there is no, there's an acting, I believe, an acting. By the way, the Department of Homeland Security has been gutted. Trump has fired so many people. Um, it is missing staff, and they're, it's just, I think it's probably a total, utter chaos in the Department of Homeland Security. By the I don't know. I don't even want, it's, it's, it's just, it's too, the, the same family separation problem the cages with the kids, it's horrendous. I, I don't know. Uh, but every, remember, everything that Trump touches dies. So the Department of Homeland Security is getting the touch. Uh, but now, so, and the Mueller report was released, um, which does not absolve, or uh, what do you call it, exonerate uh, Trump of, certainly not of collusion, there's, or not, certainly not of obstruction of justice. There's plenty of incidences of obstruction of justice. Uh, it's like a, ooh, it's like a grab bag potpourri, um, whatever. Uh, and uh, um, there's also detailing plenty of evidence of contacts with Russia. Um, and I guess it was not provable that there was the a quid pro quo or whatever coordination between the campaigns, but there was a lot of contact uh, between the, between the Russians and the Trump campaign. And of course, all of Trump's people lied about ooh, we didn't Ru Russia. We don't have nothing to do with Russia. Ooh, no, no. I've never. I don't have anything to do. I'm just trying to build a tower and <laughs> I'm just trying to build a uh, Trump Tower in Moscow. I'm going to give Putin a whole floor. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Trump, Trump lies so much. It's just okay. So here, so now we're getting down to impeachment territory. As you said, as I said, I think previously in the very first of the, the video, of this video, yep, we're in impeachment territory because the Republicans are defecting. Uh, there were a lot of Republicans that are uh, that are just so disgusted with Trump. They they they're not, they're not become Democrats. They're just, they're just appalled at Trump. Um, so here we have the uh, uh, reasons to impeach. I don't know. I just pulled this off the internet. Um, it says obstruction of justice. Yep. Fired Comey. Fired McCabe. Fired uh, Preet Bharara in New York. Fi Who else did he fire? Did he fire Sally Yates? I believe he fired Sally Yates in the Department of Justice. He fired so many people, you cannot keep track of it all. And a lot of them were in the Justice Department, a lot of them were in the F FBI. Okay, reason I back to obstruction of justice, violation of the Emoluments Clause. Uh, if you don't know the Emoluments Clause, the president cannot, should, this is in the Constitution. The Emoluments Clause in the Constitution said the president cannot profit, I'm paraphrasing, cannot profit from the position of being president. So he can't accept gifts or business things from foreign uh, foreign governments, foreign entities. It's, similarly, there's a domestic emoluments clause. Okay, conspiring with others to commit and conceal crimes against the U.S. I'm not quite sure what they're referring to there. Uh, co commit and conceal crimes against the U.S. I don't know what that specifically is referring to, but I would not be at all surprised because the only thing that matters is money. 
if you get money, you do what the foreign government does, like Saudi Arabia. I don't know. They'll kill a journalist. Yeah, okay. Saudi Arabia. And they got plenty of money. Advocating violence. Yeah, Trump does that all the time. Uh, threats. Uh, abusing the pardon power. Um, yeah, well, he pardoned. Who did he pardon early on to give a signal? Scooter Libby, I think it was, he pardoned on. Pardoned early. Uh, recklessly threatening nuclear war against foreign nations. Okay. Uh, I don't know the specific incident of that. Was that to, to make it into a parking lot? Uh, I, I think maybe it was North Korea. I, I okay, D directing law enforcement to prosecute political adversaries. Yeah. I think they're going to go after tax returns of some people. Um, well, whatever. Okay. Undermining the freedom of press. Yep. <clears throat> the, as Trump has said numerous times, the press is the enemy of the people. That's what... Did Stalin say that? Stalin or Hitler? Okay. The press is the enemy of the people. Um, undermining freedom of the press. Yep. Oh, it's too bad we can't sue the people. Okay. Unconstitutionally imprisoning children and their families. Unconstitutionally imprisoning children and their families. That would be the immigrants, uh, um, mostly, right? Yeah. And separating them. Okay. Making it, making and directing illegal payments to influence that, the 2016 election. That's the payments, the illegal payments to where he's, uh, what do you call it? Individual number one payments to the porn star that he had an affair with and the uh, and the playmate that he had an affair with and this this message goes out to you Christians thank you thank you for giving us this man who's been divorced twice three marriages and is philandering constantly grabbing grabbing of uh, women and uh, having affairs with porn stars I think uh, isn't there yeah isn't there something in the Bible about playmates uh, Thou shalt not, uh, thou shalt not go after a playmate, and thou shalt not, even if you want to, thou shalt not go after a porn star, even though you really want to, and even though you're married <laughs> to your third wife who's pregnant, <laughs> and then you lie about it too, and you pay her off. Thou shalt not. There's, there's got to be like a twenty-second commandment. Thou shalt not pay off the porn star that you had an affair with. Oh, I'm getting into sarcasm territory here again. Okay, so <clears throat> impeachment is... Um, oh, and we haven't seen the president's tax returns. This is another jewel. Uh, this is another jewel in the Trump crown of total incompetence corruption. Um, Trump has not produced his tax returns. Uh, he began with a lie that said that his tax returns were under audit. And there's no evidence that the, any of them are under audit. Even if they are under audit, you can release them. And you could release earlier ones and later ones. Donald Trump just doesn't want to release his tax returns. That's it. Because I think it will show that he's cheating on his taxes. His father cheated on uh, on, his, on the father's taxes in, in ingenious ways. And Trump, I'm sure, has inherited that, or inherited and or been taught at the master, at the knee of the master on how to avoid uh, how to avoid taxes or scam your way through the tax system. And I think Trump has done that, and that's why we're not. So we've not seen his tax returns. Now, they, they have been subpoenaed by the, Trump's tax returns have been subpoenaed by the House Ways and Means Committee. That's going to be another constitutional crisis. Um, so, uh, Republicans, you listening? Yeah, you've got another constitutional crisis coming down the, coming down the pike, I guess you would say. Um, and once the, t and if he does not release the tax returns, I think that's when we have to start impeachment. And the Nixon impeachment, well, there were only two articles of impeachment. Here you've got, I would say, at least five articles of impeachment. <laughs> I, I think you could probably even get higher than five articles of impeachment. Um, so if Trump does not release his tax returns and and he hasn't divested of his properties, that's another violation of the norms, I guess. I don't know if that's in the Constitution. Um, 
so now that now now we begin to talk about impeachment. Uh, okay, I'm going to end the video here. It's going on uh, with the uh, the calls for impeachment, um, and I put up here. This is an article in the Hill. Uh, the Hill. Well, it's just an online magazine. <clears throat> this was posted at Reddit. It says Warren. Warren. That's Elizabeth Warren, Senator Elizabeth Warren. She's running for president, by the way. Uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren calls for the House to begin impeachment proceedings. That was voted up, and you can see um, it has 51,000 upvotes. Okay, or 51,000 upvote approval, and it's got all kinds of awards: platinum award, gold award, seven platinum, <laughs> six gold, three. I don't know what that is. Silver, yeah, platinum, silver. So seven platinum, six gold, and I think three silver. And this is on a public site. I think there are five million people that are at this politics credit. And, um, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's just five million members. I can just see it. It's a screenshot. Um, and, uh, so, uh, how do I, I'm not going to end this. Yeah, the calls for impeachment, the, the tax returns, if the tax returns are not produced, um, I think that's the end. I, that's the beginning of impeachment for me. I mean, he's totally disregarding Congress. Totally. He, and uh, let me end it uh, here, and I will wrap it up. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm going to finish up the video. It's gone on quite long enough. Um, this, this has been everything, everything Trump touches dies. Um, and uh, the subtitle could be um, how do we, how do we deal with the worst president ever? <laughs> um, so this will program will go on. Yes, um, this program will continue um, as long as we have one of the worst presidents in office. Um, and there is so much news, it's hard to keep up with it all. And so I can do a weekly program easily. Um, and this turned into be an hour program. Um, so uh, I will keep doing these. Thank you.
Access Vision. Your voice, your community.